Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training, and this is my second video on the subject of the new Lambda function in Excel 365. In this video, we're going to look in particular at recursion within the function, which is kind of brand new functionality within Excel. But let's just have a little recap on how we can use the Lambda function in a really simple scenario. If I wanted to write a normal formula here to work out the retail price, I would say price times one plus markup, which would give me the retail price. With Lambda, you could do the same thing, but you'd have to set some parameters. They'd be like arguments within a formula. You can call them what you like, but I'll call mine price and then markup. And then the last argument that you use within Lambda always has to be the calculation. That would be price times open bracket one plus your markup and I close the bracket for lambda and then initially what I do is I supply some values for both parameters open up another bracket price would be b3 comma markup would be c3 close the bracket press enter and it does the calculation now there'd be no point in doing all this when you can just do this but this is the trick is you make this into a custom function you select everything excluding the brackets at the end copy and then you go up to formulas name manager and you create yourself a new function so i'll call this retail price and you paste in your function down here you can put a comment in i went at this stage i did that in the last video click on ok and now you've got a homemade function retail price and all you have to do is give a value for each of the arguments or the parameters and it does the calculation for you. For complicated formulas, this might be quite useful or if people are struggling with some maths, even kind of this basic maths, you can design a function for them to use on the spreadsheet. So that's the kind of basic premise of how to use the Lambda function. I want to go on and look at recursion with the Lambda function. Recursion is the ability to loop. Alan Turing, you'll know he cracked the Enigma code in the Second World War. He hypothesized that there would one day be a machine that could solve any problem. Well, Excel now apparently fits the bill. According to Microsoft, it is Turing complete. It can solve any computational problem because it can now loop using the Lambda function. This example is adapted from the Microsoft website. I'll leave a link to that page in the description of this video. And the idea here is that you can remove unwanted characters from some text strings. Let me just show you how this works. I've already created the function it's called clean data. And all I have to do is specify the dirty data and the unwanted characters. Uh, close the bracket. In fact, I'm going to fix my reference to unwanted characters. And then if I copy this down, you can see that it gets rid of all these unwanted characters. If I put in some numbers into that cell, it would also get rid of the numbers from the dirty data. Now, I'll get rid of those numbers just for the meantime. And what we want to do is look at how this function actually works. But before that, I'm actually going to delete it in the name manager so that we can actually create it for ourselves. And I'll get rid of these formulas here. This is the Lambda formula. It has two parameters, one for the dirty data. So that's a reference to the data that you want to clean. And the second parameter refers to the unwanted characters. So these are the two parameters and this is the calculation. And there are two parts of the calculation. You've got this part which deals with unwanted characters and this part that deals with the dirty data. And what I've done is I've put versions of these calculations up here in this spreadsheet just to show you what essentially this loop is doing. With this one formula we're performing all these calculations which are essentially a loop. On the first loop of this function, we're taking the dirty data and we are substituting 
the leftmost character of the unwanted character cell with an empty text string. On the first loop, it's going to remove that hash. That's what happens with the dirty data calculation. The unwanted characters calculation, now initially, that's just this full text string here. But on the second loop, what it does is it knocks off the first character in the text string. And what it's doing there is it's returning from the right side of the text string one less character on each loop. So it's taking the length of the unwanted character minus one. On the second loop, unwanted characters looks like this. It's excluded the hash. On the third loop, you can see that it's removed the next character and so on and so forth as we go down through the cells. What this does to the dirty data calculation is it essentially removes a different character on each loop. On the first loop, it deleted the hash. Then it goes through each of these characters and deletes them one at a time. Now to do this normally in Excel, you're going to need all these cells, but Lambda manages to do it all in one formula because it refers to itself. If you remember, these are the two parameters and then the last argument is always the calculation. And we're using an if statement. We're saying if unwanted characters is empty text string. So by the time we get down to here, unwanted characters is empty because we've got rid of all these characters. Then the result is going to be dirty data, which is the cleaned data. It's had all of these characters removed. But if uncharacters is not empty, and it won't be until we've got rid of all these characters, then this is the calculation we've got to do. And we now understand that this formula is producing the cleaned version of the text and that this calculation is returning a shortened version of the unwanted character text string on each iteration of the loop. This function is calling itself to produce the loop. All we need to do is create a function using this name clean data so let's copy this and i'm going to go up to the formulas tab name manager new and i've got to call it clean data and i'm going to paste in my formula and we know that we can put a comment in cleans unwanted characters from data using the given the data and unwanted characters. Click on OK. I close this and I use this function. It appears in the IntelliSense list, clean data, and then open the bracket. I click in this cell, comma, click in this cell, fix it, close the bracket, copy it down, and it works. So historically, the only way to have created a custom function in Excel would have been to use a VBA function. Let's open up the Visual Basic Editor and I'll just split the screen. And I've actually created this function that does exactly the same thing as our Lambda function, just to show you the equivalent function in VBA. I've called it Clean Data VBA. Here's my two arguments, I've called them exactly the same dirty data and unwanted characters. In the Lambda version, my exit strategy was here, looking to see whether unwanted characters was empty. And I'm using the same strategy here with the do until loop. Do this loop until unwanted characters is empty. And then these two calculations are exactly the same as the calculations here. I'm using replace rather than substitute, but here, with unwanted characters, it's exactly the same calculation. And then at the end of the day, clean data VBA is equal to dirty data, which is the equivalent of the value of true within my if statement here. Close down the Visual Basic Editor. If I use the VBA version of clean data, I select my dirty data, comma, select my unwanted characters, fix that, close the bracket, press enter and then copy this down and it works. And if I add some numbers up here, it gets rid of the numbers also in the clean data. Lambda is only available in Office 365 and Excel Online. If you don't have those versions of Excel, all is not lost because you can still use a custom function in VBA. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. Please subscribe if you have, and I'll see you next video.